All right, here's a walkthrough of how the Figma team, and specifically uh, Yuki, who is the VP of product over at Figma, runs their feature shipping and also their weekly meetings. So you can read through Yuki's blog post here. I, I just wanted to call out some really high items that they were trying to solve the problem of a bunch of meetings and not being really focused during those meetings, and also that their assets or artifacts, whatever you want to call it, for tracking their product launches was in a bunch of different places. So the solution here in this doc is how do we bring everything all into one place and have really effective uh, weekly status update meetings. So the first part of this doc is basically just a copy and paste from Yuki's Google Sheet in Coda. So we have all of our projects or features that we're launching, uh, who's working on it, where they are in the pipeline, and what those high-level status updates are. Now, from this database of all the projects, what they do is they just focus on the active projects during that meeting, and very specifically, the ones with questions. So the two ways in which they're filtering to really focus on what they need to work on is they're not focusing on any of these early ones or even features that have launched. We're taking that large all projects view and filtering it down to just these five. And the second part of it is around questions and raising your hand. So they've designed this uh, interactive button that when people press on it, a little face comes up, so now there's three people with questions. And so they know that the two items here that are on track, plugin and people profiles, we probably don't need to talk about it, but the ones that are delayed at risk and just an exciting one that's on track, let's, let's talk about those this week. So beyond that, the team takes cuts of the all projects table outside of the meeting. So when they're meeting with the PMMs, they're talking about upcoming launches and scheduling uh, different comms around that. And each team during their own weekly syncs outside of the high level uh, product review have de uh, designed their own specific places. So here's just a stripped down simple example of how the editor collaboration and prototyping team creates their own space. but at Figma, there's many more teams and they actually have more detail within each of their pages or spaces. So here, this is, again, just the view. I can see that it's connected to the all projects that we're looking at before. And the team comes in, says, okay, it's delayed and going great. So each of the team has that conversation about it being delayed, and any updates to this team view is automatically going up here to the active projects as well as the all projects view. So we can see the any changes here. If I were to change it back to on track here, it would then update in these various team views. Now, most of the stock is driven from the base table section of all the, the projects, and all of the select lists that we're looking at before fall into these different categories. So for example, if I wanted to add a new stage, like, uh, like a post launch retro, I add it to this, and then within the all projects view, we can now see within the stages that the post launch retro is now an option. Obviously it's not colored, doesn't have any emojis, so we can add that to all stages. And the same thing goes for teams and quarters. So that's a very high level view of how the Figma team ships product and uses Coda to do so.